This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Check your belly. My name is Mike. I'm 29 years old. And my girlfriend, Colette's pregnant right now. She's got this perfect little belly bump. Colette means everything to me. I love Mike more than I've ever loved anyone in my whole life. But Mike sticks needles in his arms. I'm addicted to fentanyl and methamphetamines. The way I get money for drugs is uh, I've resorted to stealing. Pretty much shoplift from any kind of store. My life is not my own anymore. Actually, my life is his. In a way, he took my life with his addiction because everything is centered around him. He doesn't pay rent at my home. He doesn't buy groceries. I do everything by myself. He almost died uh, about a year and a half ago, and he was in a hospital in a coma for weeks. I thought he would never touch drugs again. Within two months, he was using. If he doesn't get the help, I'm sure he's dead before the end of this year. So. The day that Mike was born, holding him was just the best thing ever. He was beautiful. My heart melt every time I'd look at him. I was so proud of him. He was very affectionate, extremely affectionate. He always had a giant smile on his face, and we just couldn't contain him. I think I was 19 years old when I found out I was pregnant. Mike's father wanted nothing to do with the baby. He just left. He just left her alone all by herself with, with a child. There was a lot of uh, worrying seeing my mother struggle and having to worry if you're going to be able to eat for the rest of the week or not having breakfast before school and being hungry. Nighttime would fall, she'd go to work. I'd have my friends over. I'd be smoking weed and, and doing whatever. Mike and I, you know, we first had started off smoking weed, uh, and then it eventually got into, you know, ecstasy and uh, cocaine, things like that. We started partying with older people, so it was just a lot more access to uh, those kind of things. I think it was around 15 when I started selling drugs. I didn't have things like other teens had, so that's how I had to do it. He's very lucky. Mike got away with anything. Mike did really well with the girls. I even remember being a little bit jealous of him because he did well with girls in comparison. I met my first girlfriend when I was 16. What I really liked when we first met was that she was, you know, the good girl, but she lied to me and told me that uh, she was on birth control. Then one day I get a call, and she told me that, uh, yeah, she was pregnant. I was completely surprised how much I wanted to be a dad and how much it changed me. I went right to work. I went right into construction. Mike was a really good dad to his girls. Mike never spanked his girls. Mike loves his girls. And I know they love their dad. I used to come home every day from work. I'd have my kids there. You know, that's, that's the life that I wanted. For the first few weeks, I refused painkillers. But after a little bit, uh, I'd start abusing the painkillers. And yeah, I couldn't stop. I tried to return to work, but it was just juggling with an addiction and, and life. It was just unmanageable at that point. My girlfriend, she broke up with me. She took the kids, and I've barely seen my kids at all in two years. I went from seeing my kids every day to having nothing. I was alone, and it just started spinning out of control. I just dove headfirst right into heroin. He has stolen from me. He was selling drugs, using in front of me. I ended up going into jail for, I think it was about nine months. And then I was released to a recovery house in the Lower Mainland, like two hours from Chilliwack, where I stayed for eight months and was clean. Then I came back to Chilliwack for court and I met Colette. We kind of just hit it off and after that day, we were kind of pretty inseparable. 
he was clean and sober and, and things were going really well. But he decided to start drinking, thinking I guess he could use casually again. And that's right around when I kind of separated uh, myself from him. I didn't use for a long time, but then I relapsed and I was pretty much right back where I was before I left. I've been putting a curfew on him. A light off? Mm-hmm. If he hasn't come by after midnight, he can stay out for the rest of the night. Mike's grandma, Helene, is throwing a baby shower. And I honestly have no idea where Mike is. I said I was going to be gone for maybe an hour. And uh, I was out all night. Do you mind if I borrow a couple bucks? What are you looking for, Mike? Looking for what do you think? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. It's hard. It's hard to say no to him. You know, it's, it's very hard. Well, you're not showing much, are you? You're so little. So, uh, are you anxious? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Of course. You know that? No, I'm not Sakes, man. Oh, OK, <laughs> just sit down and relax. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I love you. You're everything to me. I'm so scared that you're going to die. It makes me literally nervous and sick. I, I go into so much. I was asking for help before I got this bad, and I, I Hey, you came every day and gave you money. What are you talking about? It's pissing me off the longer I sit there. Oops. Mike, sit down. Dad. Let's go. We're leaving. No. Yes. You could have told us, no, thank you. I'm not interested. And we just said, OK. But you didn't. Okay. You can return the presents. That's quite all right. What? what no, no, you're saying? talking about, no, this is for the child. You don't take away the child. No, you don't take away a child's gift. Okay. He's killing him, and you know it. Mike and I are going to be seeing baby's face at the ultrasound today. We're both pretty excited. OK. You want me to get the lights? Yeah, turn off the lights, please. Show you the baby's position, OK? Show you the... Oh, oh. my god! Oh. 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 So the picture, 3D picture, very nice. <laughs> OK, so now baby's hungry. You want to go to the fault place? Because that's the area that I need to go to. So you can go in and... Order full and I'll quickly run and grab something and then come back. Hey, hey. We just had an ultrasound and now you have to go use to make yourself feel better. I'm not lady. Has anyone got anything? What do you want? What kind you got? What? Just a point. You do dope. Well, I don't look like I do dope. No. I need to get some dope. Does it have anything? Tis not here? No. Watch my dog. He might chew on you. Everybody, I'll take some merch. Down a quarter. Get a half point on you, bro. Yo! I'm gonna smash it in here. This pregnancy has been extremely hard. Um, I want him to be the man that I fell in love with. If he doesn't accept treatment tomorrow, are you going to stay with him? No. Then you need to say that, which is a healthy choice for you and your baby. All is important to me is that he lives, and he lives clean. Guess you recognize everybody. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. Your addiction took away my funny, charismatic, loving, caring son. I refuse to sit back and watch you kill yourself.
because that is what you're doing every single day you use. Mike, you know I love you. I am scared you're gonna die. I'm terrified. If you choose not to take the help being offered today, I have no choice but for Baby and I to move forward with our life. So I'm gonna ask, are you willing to accept the help being offered here today? Of course. Call it, I think you should give him a big hug and say way to go there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you just made her day. I love you. <laughs> it's a long one for a long time. Right, last time we were like Love you. Hi, you must be Mike. Hi. Hi, Mike. I'm Wendy. Welcome to Thorpe Recovery Center. Nice to meet you. Let's do this. Thanks, buddy. Be good. To be honest, at first it was it was a ticket out of jail. But when I got here and after about a week, just seeing the type of structure that's here and the people and how they're utilizing it and how it's, what it's doing for their lives, it was eye-opening. Me and Colette, we had a baby girl, nine pounds, two ounces. It's hard to describe the feeling you get when you see your daughter born. I'm on my way to get back to work, just building that family nest and just being happy. So yeah, it feels good. Baby. 